Hi friends, welcome. My name is Peggy Noe and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and this is my little Yorkshire Terrier Ellie. We're here today to just spend a little bit of time with you and to make a card together and to talk about some things that are new and um, let's see, I want to make sure that we have a um, that our our system is going correctly. I always do that at the beginning of every time. Okay, it looks like we're it looks like we're going. So welcome, happy Friday to everybody. It's Roz. Good to see you. It's Friday. Oh my goodness, Fridays are good days, aren't they? We like Fridays. Linda Leonhart. Good to see you. Um, so. Oh, when we get to Friday, everybody just does a little sigh, don't we? Pam, welcome. Thank you so much for joining from North Carolina. How's your weather back there, Pam? Carol Schaefer from Connecticut. Linda, happy Friday. Um, our weather has been very windy and stormy, and we've had rain off and on, sometimes heavy. We've had hail. I think you might have heard that there was even a blizzard warning for LA and Hollywood. I mean, it's it's a good thing insofar as we really have needed the rain that we've gotten this year, but it's been a little surprising. We don't usually have the high winds that we've been having. And I spoke with someone in, hi Marsha Long, um, and Kay, we, I spoke with someone in Georgia yesterday who said it was 80 degrees in Georgia and at that time it was 48 here and raining. I, I mean, there's just something not quite right about that, is there? Um, Pam, your weather is beautiful, um, but it's going to rain tonight and 58 tomorrow. Yeah, I know, it's kind of odd weather, um, but for us rain is very good. Rain is, is really what we need, and um, I'm hoping it really helps with our drought situation. Ellie, what are you looking at? Look at all the ladies. Look at the ladies. Look up here. Look up here. There they are. <laughs> well, so we are going to have a great day today. I put down on the title Taco Fiesta and Taco Friday because we are going to make um, some Mexican themed cards with that new Taco Fiesta stamp set. And so we're going to get to that in a minute. And first of all, I think we should talk about some news. She is just hugging me here. It's so cute. Why are you hugging your mommy, huh? Mwah. Roz, um, you're having record breaking high. Oh, 88 to 92. Whoa. Wow. That is long, that is high, and Kay is at, at 82. Wow, and then Marsha in Texas um, is 47. Renee, your video isn't working. I'm sorry, I think it's working from my end. I'm so sorry, you might go out and back in again. Sometimes if you shut off your machine and go back. Um, I know, that's what I mean, crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy weather. Okay, I'm just gonna put her down. She's fidgety. Say goodbye to the ladies. There you go. Get your little face up there. <laughs> well, I think some of you know what we're going to talk about because I can't even believe it. It's almost the end of February. Can you guys believe that? I mean, March 1st, she made my nose itch. March 1st, talk about some news. Hi, Tammy. Yes. Um, March 1st is just right around the corner and that means that we only have, I looked on the calendar, five more days of celebration today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. And I talked about this on Wednesday. Um, do not miss celebration. If there's anything, oh, Ross, Snickers says hi to Ellie. Hi to Snickers, too. Yes, yeah, so if there's anything you want that you didn't get from celebration that you haven't gotten yet, get it now. The only thing I know that's out is the Dainty Flowers um, paper, DSP. That has that sold out a week or so ago. 
and that is on page uh, pages six and seven of the celebration catalog but everything else as far as I know is in stock including everything on the 10 extra list um, and it's the only celebration we're having this year so five more days and it's going to be over um, so I want I'm going to use some of another uh, celebration DSP today just so that we can see it oh George says hi I love George K I love seeing all those pictures of, of your kitty George um, I just love it so precious um, what else do I want to talk about oh the mini okay I'm gonna use the mini today you guys this is the cutest you know I love this little mini stamp and cut and emboss machine if you are not a demonstrator I know some of you are some of you are hobby demonstrators hi Carol yes that's the wreath I have on my door and it's right over right around the corner from that wall is my barn door that my husband put up and so I can pull it closed when I have um, ladies over or if I want to keep Ellie in and I have this wreath on my barn door and I just uh, replace it uh, every season with whatever is going on um, Cindy Reed, oh, you're in a deep freeze. Kathy, hello from Minnesota. Cold. Um, so back to the wreath. So if you, I just got an inexpensive wreath about like this size from Michaels, I think maybe three or four years ago. I tacked it on my door, my uh, door into my craft room. And what I do, if you, just in case you want to know if you want to do it, because it's really fun. And I use those little, we, we get them with some of our different projects, sometimes from Stampin' Up, those mini, little mini clothespins. And I just use those and, and clip on things for the season. Like I just had Valentine's Day and I clipped on some of the big hearts from the heart punch pack, the double heart punch pack. And I made some pretty hearts and I clipped those on with my little, um, baby mini clothespins and they look super cute everybody that comes in you know the classes they want to see what's on the wreath and so I can I can feature some of our products on the wreath and then um, on my blog today and I put here on the Facebook page um, YouTube you'll have to check on my blog or on my Instagram I put everything on Instagram too if you guys want to follow me over there pretty paper cards um, I, I use the new Wreath to Bloom wreath set that we have. It's only $13. It's a kit under the kits. And it's an it's an super amazing price. It comes with its own kind of a sturdy cardboard wreath, and you just put, put the flowers on the side. The flowers are gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. And so I just didn't use the cardboard wreath, and I put those flowers on my wreath on my door now also on my do on my wreath that wreath on my door i had gotten some buffalo check wide wide ribbon from michael's or costco or something and i have a big bow that kind of loops down and so i just paper um clothespin with the mini clothespins whatever i want to on that wreath and it's totally fun you just change it out with the season like come summer i'll probably put you know, summery things on there. I was thinking of maybe putting some fruit. We used last Friday, we used the citrus bundle and I might put some fruit on there. Okay. Yes, Carol, you want to do that. Hi, Cherie. So definitely, you know, do a wreath and check out my blog today where I show kind of how I did this, but it's a snap. But back to the mini. Okay, you guys, if you are not a demonstrator, this is definitely the time to become a demonstrator. I had um, a friend that's been one of my customers for a long time and today she she got the starter kit. I, I sent her an email, she's in Colorado, and I sent her an, an email just a minute ago and I said, did you get the Blue Mini? You don't have to, um, but it's a great deal and it's the only way to get the Blue Mini. And if you have never been a, a demonstrator, this is the time to do it. Get 20% off all your products. Um, you get so much free with the starter kit. Oh my gosh. Um, so for $129 for the starter kit, you will get either the white or the blue mini stamp and cut and emboss machine and 
$175 worth of Stampin' Up! products of your choice. Now, if you don't want the mini machine, if you already have it, you can get the starter kit for $99 and you still get $175 of Stampin' Up! product of your choice. That's $76 free worth of product. So it's a kind of a no-brainer. I, I won't have another chance to tell you, although I may come on on Tuesday and chat about it um, the last day, but definitely, definitely do that if you love Stampin' Up! products. You know, it's I love them personally. I think they're the best on the market. Okay, and another news situation, another news item. My Easter class to go, my Faith Creations Easter class to go. This year I'm using the Rejoice in Him stamp set, which is in the mini, the new spring mini. And you can get it with the class. Um, it has some great sentiments that I would use anyway. And it has a dove and a palm branch, and I'm doing it early. I mean, it's okay. So let's say you won't get it till the beginning of March. It just shipped out today, all the stuff. Um, and I'll be working on making everything next week and putting the kits together for you. But I've added one additional card design so that you guys get eight cards instead of six. You'll be making eight cards instead of six. Usually I do three card designs and two. you make two cards of each design. This time I added a fourth design. So you're going to make eight cards. And I'm going to show them to you real quick because I know you're going to want to take this um, take this class. So two of the cards, I use the Delicate Desert Designer Series paper. This is one of them. This is the Delicate Desert paper over here, and this is the Palm Branch. And that's not a that's not a fancy fold or anything like that. But this one kind of is. And this is one reason I use the Desert paper, because I thought it looked like the Resurrection. And this is kind of a little fun fold. Isn't that pretty? I love this paper. And this is um, brush something paper that goes with it. So those are the two cards made using the desert paper, and you'll get you'll get all the paper you need. I cut everything. I give envelopes. Many of the gals do not give envelopes, but I give envelopes. Um, and so the second two of them use the uh, a wash and beauty and the gingham. So here's one. This is a fun one, and the sentiment is still from that stamp set. Rejoice in him. And here's the other one. I think these are super cute cards. Um, I think they'll work for all your um, all your Easter card needs. And the kit is $45, the kit alone with everything pre-cut. You get um, the PDFs, four PDF tutorials, um, one for each design, and you get a video by me, a summary video summarizing tips and tricks for the cards. And that's $45. If you need the stamp set, um, I include that for $70, and you, you're getting you're getting kind of a discount. I think you get the sales tax and shipping off. Um, your shipping from me to you is all pre is all paid for in the price of your kit, so you don't have to pay additional shipping. And um, I hope you want to take that class. Today's the last day to sign up. I made it a short I make it a short little window for signing up because. Um, I need to order once I get your money I can only hold it for a certain length of time per Stampin' Up! policy um, and plus I want you to have everything early so your cards are on hand and ready I think uh, Easter is April 9th and so I want to be sure to get everything to you so you have time to make your cards and get them in the mail and I'm also sending I'm excuse me, I'm also selling the tutorials this time. I don't normally do that. I'm doing that this time for $19. So if you're interested, email me and I will send you the registration link for all those options. And do it today because this is the last day. Okay, there are our, that's all of our news. Marsha, I'm glad you signed up too. Yes. Okay, let's get started on our taco card. It's going to be fun. So I wanted to bring you to your attention, first of all, that the Taco Fiesta car, uh, stamp set is on page 48 of the catalog. Let me actually, we'll go ahead and turn you down so you can we can see what we're doing here. Let me get that a little straighter. And we'll do this. Okay, there we go. 
So here is the Taco Fiesta stamp set right here. And it is adorable. It doesn't have dies or a punch, so there is some fussy cutting. Um, but it is so cute. And you know, here in Southern California, we live really close to uh, Mexico. We have a lot of fabulous food here. And a lot of our friends from Mexico live up here. And so I always wanted to learn uh, Spanish. I know a few words, but not like I should. But this is such a perfect set for those of us who live on the southern, um, the, in the southern U.S. But it just has the cutest stuff. And it is a million dollar award um award demonstrator set. It's Erica Serwin uh, reached a million dollars in sales and when you do that you get to design your own stamp set. And so here's this super cute stamp set. It is, let me tell you, nine, it's only $19. And it has super cute uh, sentiments. Look at this. It has guacamole. I'm telling you, we have guacamole at least once a month, uh, once a week. Tacos, we have tacos usually on Tuesday. We call it Taco Tuesday. Um, who knows what that little guy is? Write it down if you know who that little guy is. Linda Brady, good to see you. Um, let me know if you know what that is. Um, put it in your comments because that's something we all use at our children's parties and at different parties around here. So let me know. This is, I believe, a lemon a pepper, a spicy pepper. Um, these are little mustaches and other things that you can put on the different items. These are chips. We eat a lot of chips. Pinata, Tammy. Yes, Renee, Pinata, uh, Cherie. Some of these girls live here. <laughs> we use pinatas at our children's. Uh, my kids are adults now, but we had pinatas at their birthday parties, and all the candy pours out. Marsha Long, pinata, Eleanor, correct. Um, here's a cactus, and this is what the hat goes on the cactus, and the little mustache face, and here are other little faces that can go on that cactus. And this is like an enchilada or a burrito and an avocado. Aren't those just so cute? And then all these cute little sentiments. Okay, so here's the card we're gonna make today. Um, and we can we can change a few things if we want to. I, what I wanted to use today is the paper in the celebration that I think goes perfectly with the taco set, okay? This is the On the Farm, is that what it's called? Day at the Farm. Day at the Farm Designer Series Paper. You guys, look at that. Doesn't that go just perfectly with uh, Mexican food? And the back is one of my favorites. You know that's one of my favorites. But I just saw, thought this looked so cute as the background for the um, for the Taco Fiesta stamp set. And so I got some peppers. I've got the piñata. And, okay, this is a little something. A sombrero, yes. Oh, the sombrero on the avocado. That would be super cute. So this is a fun little taco paper clip. Can you see that? I got that at On Stage, and I got a bunch of them. I don't know why I ended up with, I got about seven of them. So I stuck it on the card just for fun and tied a little bow on there. And just an FYI, I'm going to give away four of these a little taco paper clips as the prize um, that will that if you put the word prize you'll be in the running for the for the taco paper clips that I'll give away a week from today and again I don't know how I got them but the, I think they're super cute don't you think those taco paper clips are cute okay and one thing I wanted to show you this week is how to make little frames I think frames are cute on cards so, um, and on the inside of this guy, I put a couple of the peppers and I put some peppers on the envelope. I just think it's, um, and I really liked that sentiment, you spice up my life. So let's get going. Alrighty, so first let's go ahead and cut our uh, paper. And this is our designer series paper, and we're going to cut it at um, five and a quarter by four. And this is five and a quarter, so we'll get our card base 
just completely done. And then we want to go to the four inch mark right here on the paper trimmer. Okay, and now I can put this back. And here is the card base. I'm using today Daffodil Del Delight. And the card base is 11 by four and a quarter and scored at five and a half. I kind of like this card base. It's just a little different. I like to use something a little different. Yes, put the word prize if you want those little paper clips next week. So we're just gonna go ahead and glue um, this super cute vegetable paper down. I mean, it has a cucumber, it's just so cute. And I love this side too. I think one day after celebration, every time I get to choose a celebration gift, I've been choosing this, this designer series paper because I love it so much and I really have quite a lot. And after celebration is over, I'm gonna do a class using this paper. I think I'm gonna be using that yellow stripe paper because I like it so much. <laughs> okay. So now we've got our card base ready. So let's make our frames. And I pre-made, I pre-cut one with a, the mini machine, but I wanted to show you how to make them. And today I'm going to use, let me set this little one to the side. I'm gonna use the stylish shape dies because they have squares. And I'm gonna use the two largest squares. Now before I came on, I went ahead and looked at the inventory report and these are on low it says low inventory whoops let's put that back there so just so you know if you're interested in these and don't have them it does say low inventory so I want to make sure that you guys um, can get them um, they're different than the than others I mean you might have square or circles or something but these have the stitching on the outside of the cut and on the inside of the cut and I'll show you what I mean here that's what's different about these and that's what I like about them so let's get up our little mini and this is a scrap of our daffodil delight cardstock because I wanted the frame to coordinate with the card base so what you do is you just get two, you can do this with a circle or any shape, um, two kind of, uh, when, when they have a bunch of them of, you know, the same, different sizes of the same shape, then you just do two, put two on, and I just want to get that a little bit over there. Okay. And then I just press down and hold so it stays right where I want it to be and run that little guy through and it's going to create a frame and frames are fun to put on your um, on your cards I like to do it every so often so I'll show you how this turns out okay oh I put it with the <laughs> oh my goodness I did the cutting side up silly me because I was talking to you about it oh my goodness Shh. Don't tell anyone I did that. Oh my goodness sakes. That was just goofy. You guys are sworn to secrecy, you promise? Do not tell, okay. Now we're gonna do it again. Hopefully it'll turn out right. <laughs> you do that a lot, Linda. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Like I said, don't tell. Hopefully this turned out. Yes. Okay. So what it does is it cuts the frame and because these have the stitching on the inside and the outside, we get two lines of stitching. I'll hold it up close so you can see. There's stitching right inside the outer line and right inside the inside line, which I think is kind of cute. And then you end up with a square that has stitching also that you can use on another card. I really like to do that. I think that is, I like to make frames with that set. I particularly like the stylish shapes. Okay, now here are a couple ideas, a couple of ideas I had. Um, so I've got the two frames 
and um, I have already pre-cut the uh, little insides. But I wondered if, what do you think, should we try, I like to ask you guys, should we try just doing one? And then we have a neat label down here. Right here we have a couple of neat label dies that we could use. What do you think? Should we try just one or do you like the two? I'll wait a few minutes and you can tell me. The two seemed a little, here are the two. I'll show you the two again. So tell me if you, it, I feel like it's the eye doctor, you know, one or two. <laughs> what do you think? I'll just be waiting to hear. I know there's a little delay. Um, if you don't say anything, I think I'm going to go for the one just to do something a bit different because I have the two over here. Just one? You want to try the one, Eleanor? Okay, I do too. I do also. We'll just try that just for fun, just to be different. Okay, I like it. So I wanted to show you um, what I do here to uh, glue these together. Oh, Louise. Hi, Louise. Marsha, the two of you want two, and Eleanor wants one. Carol, oh, you guys. <laughs> I'm going to go for one just because it's a little different. Okay, um, just to do something a little different. Okay, so what I do is I am just going to put the teeniest bit of glue. Now, I cut this, okay. I measured I went ahead and measured the outside frame so you can learn how to do this. Measure your outside frame and come in only about 1 16th of an inch or maybe 1 8th of an inch would give you a 16th on each side. Just come in a tiny bit and that way your paper won't stick out. Um, and I'm putting it on the front of the paper because this is how we're going to do it. We're going to adhere the frame to the front. So I just have very little space in here. This is a brand new bottle. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Okay. So we just want to put very, very little glue all around. Just very little. In fact, you can even just put tiny dots and just pull it. And, you know, I usually do end up with a tiny bit on the inside and I can, you know how that is, every so often. So we're just going to get little bits of glue, just like that. Okay, and now all we do is put our frame right on top. And then what I do is I turn it over and make it even, pull it over to one side or the other. Okay, and we did it without too much mess. There's not much mess on there. Okay, that's pretty good. We did a pretty good job there. Hi, Sue Thomas. Yes, go back and watch. Uh, we're making a taco card. We're going to call this Taco Friday, Taco Fiesta Friday. Okay, so what I'm going to do is go ahead and put this, put on our frame with dimensionals. And then we'll start decorating, okay? You know, you get your card, the base of it done, whatever the base looks like. And in, in our case, it's the base with the frame. And then we can decorate it. We can do all kinds of fun things. So here we go. And let's put this, we'll pull it down just a little bit and put it right there. Okay, now. I did pre-cut some stuff and pre-color because this is um, this is a set where you're going to want pretty much want to color your all the items and I didn't want to take the time to really you know spend coloring but you know what I love the idea you guys have of the of the little avocados with the sombreros should we make a couple of sombreros I kind of really like that idea. I'm going to do it. Okay, so here's our a scrap of white and here's our stamp set. Let's get to let's get the sombrero stamp out. You guys have such great ideas. Now where is it? Hmm, okay, here it is. It's a little it's a little tiny guy. Okay. Let's see. I have an extra block. 
Look at that. Isn't it super cute? Okay, I've been stamping everything in uh, soft suede just to give it a distinction um, rather than black because this is kind of brown. So let's give these little guys sombreros. Okay, here's one. Whoops, that didn't get enough ink on. Okay, here's two. Okay, and then we Let's color the sombreros in. I wonder, I've got all the colors that I used. I used Poppy Parade. I used, and we've got Daffodil Delight. Um, I don't want to use green because green is the avocados. And maybe a little brown, a little bit of brown. Should we go with, what is that color? Light Soft Suede, should we try that? Isn't it so cute, Linda? It's just, I mean, it's absolutely adorable, really. Okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to color the little top knot of the sombrero like this. Maybe I'll just make it uh, the poppy parade in the yellow. You know, when I was coloring all these things before uh, I came on, I, coloring is so relaxing. I know I say that. But I thought, gosh, I could just sit and color all day long because it's just so relaxing, especially if you're not like blending the colors. Here we're just coloring in. We're not really doing color blending that we certainly can do with our beautiful blends. But um, this is just basically you color, just stay in the lines. That's it. Just stay in the lines. Okay, here we go. And then let's, let me get a little more dot over there. And then we'll color that other part yellow, our Daffodil Delight. And I tend to use the brush end. I like it because I think it's more narrow. Some people like the point, the more pen end, the kind of pointy pen end. And I'm, again, I'm doing two of these because we're going to put two avocados. So. We're just going to have two little sombreros for the avocados. I'm so glad you guys said that. Okay, now we're going to cut them out. And I suppose there are the little face stamps. I, I don't know. Do we want faces on our avocados? I'm not sure. Let's see how the sombreros look. So what I usually do when I'm fussy cutting is I cut pretty close to the item. And then it's a little bit easier. And this is probably going to be a pretty quick cut. And if you stay just a hair outside to give it a little tiny white border, like, you know, when you die cut things, it ends up having a little white border. For some reason, it kind of sets it off. So if you can leave a little white border, that's always, it. I don't know, it's just something to do. get around that curve there. I want it, I'm trying to be super careful. Okay, then we'll go up over the top of his head, top of the hat. You know, I didn't even think of the sombrero going on the avocados, but people have been doing the most fun things with this set. I mean, if you go on Pinterest, oh my gosh, I'm sure you'll find tons because I've seen the demonstrators doing tons of adorable things. Okay, I just want to cut one out and we'll get it on top of the avocado. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is too cute. Okay, you guys want to see if we can put some faces on them? Oh my goodness sakes. Oh goodness sakes. That is just too cute. I mean, it's really fun to laugh, isn't it? You know, laughter is good. Laughter is good. And we're always making flowers. I love my flowers. I love beautiful flowers. But this is just a kick. And if you know someone um, who loves tacos, you could, they're, the sentiments are just super cute. And I, I bet a lot of people from the southern states particularly are getting this set. Okay. There we go. There are two little. <laughs> okay, let's look at the little faces. So I don't know. 
let's just give a test here. That's what I usually do is I test. Because um, I can't, you know, you can't really see. You kind of need to do a test. So let's do a little test on the face. And there are four different faces. I'm not 100% sure which one I chose. It's a little bit hard to see. So let's... Okay, that one has the little the little eyes closed. Let me see if I can find one with the eyes open. I think this one has the eyes open. We'll put this on the other side of the block and we'll give that one a test. Okay, that's cute. Now, let's see. I mean, will this really fit? Yeah, I guess it has to come way down. Oh, I don't want to ruin one. Okay, let's test it. Let's try. I'm going to take the other face off so I can really see clearly. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness sakes. <laughs> oh, it kind of looks like he has his mouth wide open, doesn't it? <laughs> oh, you guys are a kick. I would never have thought to really put a face on here. You guys are funny. Okay, let's do another one. Okay, there we go. There are two little avocados. Oh, one, one eye is bigger. I think I must have pressed on that side for that eye. <laughs> oh, mustache. I'm Mustache? Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm not gonna do the mustache. That came with, the, um, that came with the, some more eyes. And I don't dare give them four eyes because I don't wanna have to make more avocados. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness sakes, that is a crack up. Okay, so we're going to need some dimensionals. Um, I think what we might do is glue the little sombreros on. Okay, let's glue on the sombreros first of all. Put a little glue on the top of the little guy's head. That's quite a bit of glue, but oh well. Okay, and put the sombrero on. Let me get some of that glue off. I put quite a bit. Whoa, that, okay, let's see how this works. And we'll just set that little hat on. Okay, you know what, we could even tip it a little bit, huh? Make, it look, make him a little bit goofy, kind of like that. What do you think? <laughs> Louise, thank you, okay, there's one. Oops, is there some glue sticking? No, maybe? Okay, so there's one. And let's glue this little guy's hat on, and he'll go the other direction. Try to get a smaller bit of glue on there. It does look like that painting with the big mouth. I don't know. Let's see. Let's look at that mustache. There's the mustache. I could just cut the eyes off. What do you think? Let's just cut the eyes off and we'll just put the mustache alone. Have you ever done that to a stand? I do. I sometimes do. Because we've got a lot of eyes in here. Okay, there's just the mustache. Let's try it. Oh my goodness, you guys. Because the mustache would kind of cover that big hole, right? That big hole of his mouth. Okay. Here's our scratch piece. And let's give this mustache a test. Oh, it's cute! Okay, here we go. Oh, goodness sakes alive. Okay. This is kind of precision work, you guys, to get right in there. My goodness sakes. <laughs> I am just, should it be a guy and a girl? Should we leave it like that? I think we should. I think it should be a guy and a girl. Oh my goodness sakes. 
Yes, it covers the mouth. It looks like they're singing. I think we're going to go for the guy and the girl. I really like that. All right. We've got to stop. Okay, I've got to stop. Let's put these guys on. Okay, I have some other things that I thought we could use to decorate a little bit. Um, I've got an extra pepper. Come here, you pepper. So, and I have the pinata. I don't know, the taco, I don't know. Let's, why don't we uh, space things out here and see what sentiment we're gonna use with the avocados. Your nacho average friend, spectacular. Long time no taco. I don't like the holy guacamole. I just, I don't like the holy part. I don't know. I think I'm gonna go your nacho average friend. What do you think about that? I know it's so funny. Let's go with your nacho average friend. Okay, let's put this on. Where did my block go? This is as fun as having you guys right here in my room with me. It really is. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and use Poppy Parade for the sentiment. And we're going to go ahead and stamp the nacho, average friend. I'll try to get enough ink on there. Cute. And what we could do, instead of even using the um, the die, we could just do this like I've been doing. And you, well, there is, there are some chips in here. We could um, do a few chips. Should we do that? Should we stamp a few chips? I'll have you, gar you girls here all day, really, and seriously. Such a fun set and a fun card, it really is. Okay, I'm just gonna put a few chips on there. And let's see, I'm just gonna use a little bit of, because I think that will go better with the nacho sentiment. So I'm just real quick gonna stamp some chips in crumb cake and cut those out just super quick and we'll just put those chips on too. I think that'll make a little more sense, don't you? And then after that we'll be ready, we'll be done with our card, we'll be ready for our prize. I, I've loved this set from the beginning and I think I'm gonna be keeping it. You know, I give a lot of sets away after I'm done. I mean, I sell them put them in mystery boxes and stuff because I can't possibly keep all the sets I have. But this is just so, so adorable. So we'll just add a few little nachos and a pepper and a couple of things just to bring more levity to our fun card. And if you have a, a I have a friend I'm already thinking of who is a real joker and she is going to love this card. I'm going to definitely give it to her because she's going to love it. I'm trying to think of chips. They're a little bit, they're not really brown, but I may go back and color them later. Oh, goodness sakes. So there are some chips. We'll just put those chips on the corner like that so it looks a little nacho-y. Put a dot of glue on each of those. There we go. Just a dot. Okay. Let's see. Well, let me see. Because I wanted to put a pepper and I wanted to put the uh, pinata. So maybe we'll put the chips right over here like that. Okay. And we'll put the pepper at the top. I like to, it's fun to just decorate the whole thing. I'm just putting a little glue to adhere it to the frame. And this little guy, I think I'll just put a little bit of glue right in there. Well, let's see, we need to get him. Eek, I put my glue too high. Whoops. Okay. 
I'm going to go back with my glue remover and I'll get that off. And then for our sentiment, we're going to, where are my dimensionals? We'll put this on with dimensionals. Oh, you guys, thank you for helping me make a very, very fun card. I am absolutely laughing. Wait till I, my husband's in the back. He, he's, we're both retired. And when I show him this, he's going to just be totally cracking up. Look at that cute little card. Oh my gosh. I love it. Okay. Thank you guys. Oh, fun, fun, fun. Okay. Let's come up and we'll give away our prize. I'm so laughing. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, our prize for this week is the Decorative Masks Loveliest Layers Decorative Masks that are actually, you can get them free. When I, when I offered these last week, I didn't, I don't think I realized that they were, they were on the free, the 10 free items in celebration, but you can get them free from me. And the winner of our drawing for this week is Miss Pam Simmons. So Pam, congratulations. I will get these in the mail to you. They're brand new, they're current, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with them. I've been seeing some people making some fun things. So Pam Simmons, congratulations. I have your address in North Carolina. So I will get those to you. And if you want, we didn't put the taco paper clip, a taco paper clip on our card, did we? These are four of the taco paper clips from on stage. They're gold. And if you want the paper clips, um, put prize and I'll award these next week. Yes, congratulations, Pam. And oh my goodness, we have had so much fun. You guys, please, please, please do not forget about celebration. The last five days. Um, I may do a quick live on Tuesday. It depends on what my day is like. Um, I think I do have some things going on, so I'm not sure if I'll be able to, but um, don't forget to, about Celebration. And if you've thought about joining Stampin' Up! at all and getting that starter kit, there's actually no obligation. If you, if you get your starter kit now, um, you would stay on until June, I think, June 30th with no obligation. And uh, I can talk to you more about that. And then if you want my Easter kit, today's the last day. Email me at Peggy at PrettyPaperCards.com and I'll send you the registration link tonight. Okay, thank you all so much. Have a wonderful weekend. And thanks for playing with the taco set with me.